today I'll be giving you guys the true tea in my full review on the natural pads by a brand called Hyo. So if that's what you're into, let's go. Hey guys, what up? It's I Destiny. Welcome back. So I'm trying to help you guys get your glow up together through skincare and thrift wear. So if that's what you're into, hit that subscribe button below. But today I'm giving you guys my full review um, on the brand Hyo. They're our natural pad line that's on uh, Amazon actually. And um, I'm super excited to kind of do this review for you guys just because if you guys have been watching my channel for a minute, you guys already know that I am a huge advocate for natural products. I love things that are natural. I love things especially that are a little bit more on the sustainable side. I am not like the poster child for sustainability. There are some things that I'm working toward to become a little bit more sustainable as we all should be. But I just think that uh, natural and sustainable products, it's kind of what we need to be going towards is better for you know the planet as well as better for ourselves. So if you guys have seen my video, I'm gonna link it up here for you guys to check out. I actually went in, I think this was like maybe two years ago and reviewed a bunch of all natural, organic, uh, pads and, and menstrual products. So kind of a little bit about me and my story. Um, I started my cycles in like, I think it was like the summer between third and fourth grade. So for me, because of all the weird chemicals and hormones and things in food, I actually went through puberty extremely early and had been, you know, using menstrual products since, you know, way back then. So fast forward, I'm almost pulling up into my thirties. So, um, I noticed sometime around, I think it was like late in high school that my body just was reacting really, really weird to certain kind of menstrual products. And when I started transitioning into college and started kind of like going out and buying my own menstrual products and just being really aware about the ingredients and things in them, I started noticing that my cramps were getting worse and worse and worse. So when I started kind of transitioning and trying out some more natural and organic pads and things like that, I noticed that my cramps and everything were going away. So if you guys want to see uh, my whole spiel on, uh, how I transitioned to using more natural products, the effects that they had on my body, the, the positive effects that I had when I transitioned. Um, I'm gonna link that above for you guys to check out. But this is specifically about the brand Hyo. So um, obviously when you're using you know cotton and natural products, you're still going through um, a lot of waste. So um, I started kind of researching and was like, okay, is there something that I can use that's reusable? I saw those kind of like uh, menstrual cups and I was like, well, I don't really know if that's for me. Um, it seems a little complicated. And, you know, I don't know how my body's going to react to them. And then I saw things like, you know, the, the period panties and kind of this whole movement. And I thought, oh, well, that's kind of cool. But I just, the logistics of it just seemed really weird to me. Like, okay, you're putting on these panties, but you don't bleed through them. You know, how does that work? I feel like there's two ends of the spectrum here. You're either buying natural and organic pads, which are, you know, pretty cheap. You know, the price has gone down a lot in the past few years, but you're still kind of wasting a lot of product, but it's inexpensive and it's better for your body. And then you have this whole end of the spectrum over here where it's like you have the reusable panties and um, the menstrual cups that are definitely more on the pricier side, but they are more sustainable. But it's like, okay, if you're on a budget, you know, how can you really finesse this if you, you know, you're, you're tight on money, but you want to be more sustainable. So I feel like there was definitely something missing kind of in the middle there, something that was still more on the budget side, but you know, that you could get a little bit more usage out of. So interesting. So this brand actually hit me up a brand called Hyo. They're a woman owned company and, um, the two sisters, I think it's two sisters and uh, their dog or their cat or something. They have a really cute story, but, um, they're from Singapore and I think they just opened up um, a facility out here in the US as well. So they kind of reached out to me and asked if I would do a review of this product and I was like, uh, yes, especially considering my whole story and how my kind of menstrual journey has been going. So um, this is their product here. This is one of the, the clean ones. I didn't use this one specifically so I can show you guys in this video, but I will link in uh, clips throughout this video of, you know, the pads after I've washed them and things like that. So I was like, huh, like, this totally makes sense. So back in the day before we had all these like menstrual products, women were doing things like this to begin with. They were using, you know, uh, ripped pieces of cloth and, you know, use, uh, using them for their menstrual cycle and then washing them and kind of reusing it. So why did it take so long for us to kind of come around and have this type of product again? Like it just doesn't make any sense to me that we didn't put two and two together. I don't, I don't know. But um, I just thought that this was really, really cool. So they actually have kind of like a, charcoal core in the middle of this to kind of help draw the moisture um the substance <laughs> into the pad and um it has kind of the sides are slightly stretchy and they have these two kind of clasps on the back <laughs> with their little brand Hyo. um two clasps on the back depending on the the thickness or the width of your underwear so let's say if you have like a, a full booty covering brief or you know some boy shorts or whatever maybe you might use the this first one here 
and then if you have something more narrow like maybe a very very cheeky cheeky kind of boy cut or something like that or a very very or a thicker or wider thong I guess you would use this more narrow one um, to kind of keep it from sliding around now um, this material here kind of feels like to the touch it feels very fleece like but um, overall I would say that these are really really cool so upon using them at first I put it on and it did feel slightly more bulky than your average pad it almost felt a little bit like when you put on a night pad and these are like a really really good length for me I'm 5'2 and um, I felt like it covered pretty pretty well without being like overly long and it wasn't too short as well so I really like the length of this I think this is their I'll link it right here it's either their medium size or their their large size it's not their overnight one I think that one's a little bit bigger but I think this is maybe their medium or large but um, overall I would say that they're very very comfortable to wear they are slightly on the thicker side but they're super freaking absorbent so as you guys know when it's like the first couple days of your period or so you know your flow is a lot heavier I felt like um, this did an amazing job in comparison to my pads I feel like I needed twice as many pads to kind of get the support that this was giving me of just me using one so I put it to the test my first day that I tried it out I was like okay let me just bite the bullet and wear this for a full 12 hours like first day of my period like let's see how this goes let's see if I have any leaks and I wore linen white pants just for y'all to make sure that you know I was doing this whole test legit so I had linen white pants that were very very thin went out ran a bunch of errands with the baby went was cleaning up around the house you know just moving around all day this thing I noticed did not move not once it pretty much stayed in place I did not have any leaks and at the end of that 12 hours like I could barely tell that this was like soaked I didn't feel sticky I didn't feel uncomfortable like oh god it's so full I felt like I probably could have gotten another hour or two out of this but honestly like this did an amazing job so for those of you that might be traveling let's say if you have like several layovers and you really don't have time to kind of like change your pad and everything I feel like this is gonna be a great option for you if you're doing an you know ridiculous road trip where you're gonna be stuck in the car for hours at a time this is gonna be your best friend you know if you're asleep and you know oh my god I had the longest day ever I'm probably gonna be asleep for a good like 8 to 10 or 12 hours who knows how long this is an amazing option as well now as far as having to change it I feel like I could get through an entire 24 hour period with just two of these if I had to and three if I wanted to be a little bit more comfortable now on the downside I felt like um, if it's hot outside this definitely starts to feel a little warm they don't really breathe very very easily just because of this material here on the back that kind of keeps you know the blood from bleeding all the way through so um, it's good that you're not going to get any leaks but it definitely is a little uncomfortable as far as breathability so um, that's one of the negatives that I will say but they do have smaller or I think slightly thinner sizes of this so I'm gonna link their Amazon store below for you guys to check out but they do have different sizes of this so one of the things that I would love to do is check out maybe a smaller size that they have and see if that's maybe a little bit more comfortable to wear during the day and then maybe switch to something like this at night but um, I feel like that would be a great option as well so um, it comes in a pack like this like the they're literally in this package and you get a pack of six for I think like 30 bucks and they do have their products uh, sent to the Amazon facility so for those of you that are prime members you're able to kind of get that two three day prime shipping that way if you know oh my gosh I'm starting my period I haven't had time to maybe wash your other pads you can definitely order these so yeah it's a period starter kick and you get six of the charcoal bamboo uh, <laughs> and you get six of the washable charcoal bamboo uh, menstrual pads uh, for $30 and it does come with a cute little carrying case that way for me one of the things that I loved was after using them if it wasn't wash day for me yet I'm not gonna sit there and literally do a wash or a load every single day just to wash those two three pads is just folding them up and putting them in that cute little satchel bag so I'll show you guys that it's super cute it's kind of in the same material as the back of the menstrual pads and you just kind of fold it up so pretty much when you take it off your underwear you just fold this top part down and then fold this here and then you fold these little sides in you clip it and you're good to go now it's not gonna spill it's not gonna seep or, or anything if you have to just shove it in your bag but it does come with a little uh, menstrual carrying case for you to put these in after they're folded up and used so that's great love the fact that they're washable and I think they said that you know if you take good care of these and I think they said they should last between like three to four years so that's really great that's a very much a sustainable option I don't know if those like menstrual cups last as long as that and it's kind of a pain the fact that you have to like 
dump it and rinse it out and put it back in especially considering if you're in a public pay if you're in a public place that's the last thing you want to be doing is trying to like rinse and wash and do all this with your little menstrual cup so love the fact that you could just take this off roll it up put another one on and then you know wash them when you have a time okay so I did look it up and these are the medium flow pads so for me on my heaviest day I was able to get 12 hours of usage out of the medium flow pads so that's like crazy ridiculous like you don't get that with normal pads but one of the things that I did end up having to do was I think after like two days of wearing this I just felt like I just needed a little bit more airflow a little bit so I did switch to my uh, organic natural um, disposable pads um, just for um, like a day or so and then I went back to kind of using these at night if that's something that's gonna be an issue for you you know breathability it was for me after a couple days is um, kind of going back and forth between these and my natural um, disposable menstrual pads so it wasn't too bad I felt like I was being more sustainable than I normally am but it was just kind of good to have like both of those options I definitely see myself going forward and using these because I just I freaking love this option and I think it's very sustainable they were comfortable um, but I do want to try maybe their light flow and see if maybe I get a little bit more breathability with those um, maybe on the shorter end of the days of my period this medium size is definitely too much for um, I would say like the last couple days of your period like if from the middle to the end you have very very light days maybe check out their lighter ones or for me I ended up kind of transitioning and going back and forth between uh, my disposable pads so not too bad but overall I think it's a bargain so you get six of these I feel like those six obviously lasted me to the end of my period with mixing in a little bit um, just a few of my disposable pads so not bad so if you got maybe this starter pack or maybe like I think they have a bundle that's double this size and it's like 50 bucks that's definitely gonna last you your full period and then some that way if you don't have time to wash you still have like a few kind of in the back just in case but um overall I think that this is a really freaking dope product and I want to see kind of more more from them if you guys are interested in checking out the brand I'm gonna link them below and don't forget to subscribe guys if you guys have tried any other uh, natural menstrual products that you guys want me to check out or um, you just have something to say about them comment below um, I'd love to know any any tips or tricks for anybody put them in the comment section but like this video if you want to see more I'll be posting more as usual make sure to do well and be well and I'll see you later bye